Grandpa in my pocket. Today, Dad had got us all involved in a big plan. Nothing like a good clear out. We have so much junk for the charity shop. Look at it. Hey, you can't take this to the charity shop. Mr. Porky, my piggy bank. I made him when I was a boy. He's, he's a bit, well, ordinary. Ordinary? Ordinary? There's nothing ordinary about Mr. Porky. Of course, Grandpa was right. Mr. Porky was no ordinary pig. My carousel. I want to keep it. But it's broken, Jemima. And this boat of yours doesn't work either, Jason. But maybe we can mend it. Yes, Dad, please, please let me keep it now, please. Maybe I can mend them, Jason, but if I'm going to do that, it would be better if I was small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! Grandpa can do all kinds of things when he's small. He can run so fast I can't catch him. He can get into the tiniest of places. And his magic can make my toys work. Like my car and my plane. I'm the only one who knows about his magic shrinking cap. And no one else is allowed to find out. As usual, I had no idea where Grandpa was hiding. And then I heard... Ship ahoy! He was in Jemima's carousel. I really want to keep it, Dad. I really, really do. Grandpa, hide. They're coming. So Grandpa got out of the boat and went through the door in the middle of the carousel. In no time at all, Grandpa had mended something inside. And it was working. Ah, oh, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, has he? Jason, you're brilliant. I can keep it, can't I, Dad? You can keep it. Yes, it's going in my room. You are off to the charity shop, Mr Porky. And Mr Porky wasn't alone. Oh no, please let me keep my book, Dad. But it's broken, Jason. If anyone could mend my boat, it would be Grandpa. I needed an idea, and I needed it fast. Hey, I know. Instead of taking these things to the charity shop, why don't we bring Mr Men to the inventor? Maybe he can invent something out of the things that don't work. Now, Mr Mentor the Inventor lives in the lighthouse in Sunny Sands. He's always coming up with really crazy inventions. Like this. The automatic hair static that gives you a new hairstyle every day. And this. The Huffer Puffer Pillow Fluffer. Oh yes. Mr. Mentor invents things out of all kinds of junk. He loves junk. So, Dad called Mr. Mentor, and Grandpa slid down the banisters and out into the garden. And this is what happened. Oh, yes. Grandpa got into my broken boat, and his magic made it go. Dad, you're mine! They thought I'd mended it. And just then, Mr. Mentor arrived. Here I am. Oh, now that is a fabadiculous bit of junk. Uh, no, no, Mr. Mentor, the junk's inside. Come on, I'll show you. Oh. There was no time to lose. Grandpa climbed onto the top of the boat, and I picked him up. Oh, oh I was enjoying that. I know. But you'll be needed inside now. There's no knowing what Mr. Mentor will choose next. I hope it isn't Mr. Porky. <laughs> Mr. Porky. Oh, he's absolutely wonder bubble. I could invent no end of things with this pig. Anything else you fancy? While Dad and Jemima showed things to Mr. Mentor, Grandpa ran from his hiding place. He climbed up the table leg and got into the pig. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. No, I don't fancy anything else. Mr. Porky is all I could ever want. This was a disaster. I'll show you out. See you soon. Bye, Mr. Mentor. Bye. Bye-bye. And off went Grandpa to the lighthouse inside Mr. Porky. Now then, what am I going to do with you, Mr. Porky? I've no idea, but I'm sure we'll come up with something. <gasps> you spoke? Of course I did. 
This is Wonderbubble. I have just invented a talking pig without even trying. You have? You are one of the most remarkable inventors in the universe. How about you give me a lick of paint so I don't look so ordinary? A lick of paint, of course. And a new curly whirly tail. Oh, we can't have a pig with no curly whirly in his tail. So, Mr. Mentor set to work, and soon Mr. Porky looked like this. You are spectacular, Mr. Porky. Thank you, Mr. Mentor. I am loving being all curly whirly and swirly. Yes, I have invented a truly extraordinary talking pig. And not just talking. Oh, no. I sing as well. Here we go. This time Grandpa had gone too far. My name is Mr. Porky. Not only am I talky, I can sing and I can dance a little jig. I love a jig. I'm lucky to have spent an afternoon with Mr. Mentor because now I am no ordinary pig. No ordinary pig, but a pig that's really quite remarkable. No ordinary pig, but a pig that clearly might get into trouble. Oh dear. I think I ought to mention that this brilliant invention just makes me want to sing and dance a jig. With a body bright and swirly and a tail all curly whirly, he really is no ordinary pig. No ordinary pig. No money box, no ornament, no toy. No ordinary pig. But a singing, dancing talker. I'm a wonder bubble porker. He's a pig that makes me jig about for joy. Back at our house, I was getting really worried about Grandpa. Right, time to wake Grandpa. No, not yet, Dad. Why don't I call Mr. Mentor and see how he's getting on? Then we'll have something to tell Grandpa when he wakes up. OK, good idea. Hello? Oh, hello, Jason. You're not going to believe this. The pig talks. Really? What did he say? Tell us. What the what? pig talks. The pig talks? <laughs> Can I talk to the pig, Mr. Mentor? <laughs> oh, of course. I really needed to know how Grandpa was going to get home. Hello, Jason. Hello, Mr. Porky. <laughs> I've never heard of a talking pig. Whatever next? How about a flying pig? A flying pig? <laughs> Suddenly, I understood what Grandpa's plan was. A flying pig? You mean you want me to make you wings? Why not? Then I'd be even more extraordinary. So, Mr. Mentor set to work. And soon Mr. Porky looked like this. He had wings. And Grandpa's magic made him fly. Oh, 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 oh my! Oh, oh. And he flew all around the lighthouse and out of the window. Wait for me! Back at home, we all ran into the garden. Here it comes! Look! A spectacular! Remarkable! bubble! The good news was that Grandpa was home. The bad news was I had no time to get him out of Mr. Porky because Mr. Mentor arrived in a panic. I'm in a panic. My talking, singing, dancing pig flew, flew out of the window, and I don't know where he went. He just down. took off. Fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. While Mr. Mentor panicked and Dad and Jemima tried to calm him down, I managed to get Grandpa out of the pig and into my pocket. Mr. Mentor, they went straight out of the window. Your pig's here, Mr. Mentor. Oh, Wonder Bubble! It's one of my best inventions ever, and I don't know what to do with it. Why don't you give it back to Grandpa? It was his pig, after all. What a spectacular idea. I'll go and wake him up. No! I will, Dad. I ran into the sitting room and put Grandpa down. 
cap off Grandpa Quiz, so off came his shrinking cap, and he came back to his normal size. We did it, Jason. We managed to keep Mr. Porky and all our treasures in the family. Teamwork, I say. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> So Mr. Mentor gave Grandpa Mr. Porky. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Mentor. He's absolutely fabidicus, isn't he? <laughs> but I think he might need a bit of a rest now. Uh, just you wait till he talks and sings and flies. He is no ordinary pig, Grandpa. Ordinary, no ordinary <laughs> pig. But a pig that's really quite remarkable. No ordinary pig. But a pig that clearly might get into trouble. <laughs> Grandpa, you know his song. Well, of course I do. He's my pig, remember? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>